Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at the Soul Savvy SS4s. Let's get into it. If this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers, lifestyle products, and designer and collectible toys. So if you like that kind of content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. And for those who are back for another episode, thank you so much for all your support. It is truly appreciated. I wanted to do a, not really an unboxing, but a first impressions and a light review of the Soul Savvy SS4s. And before we get into the actual content of the sneaker, I did want to talk a little bit about you know, the other three pairs that were uh, before the SS4s. Obviously there are the SS1s, SS2s, and SS3s. So let's dive into that a little bit and then we'll head over into the SS4s and have a look at this sneaker. So if you don't know, I've talked about Soul Savvy. I haven't done like a dedicated video on the review and what it actually is. If you're interested in that, then let me know and leave a comment below. Maybe I'll do a video on it one day, but it's basically like a sneaker community and you pay a subscription uh, to allow you to get sneakers for retail. And that's the purpose of it. But it is a sneaker community and they have created three other sneakers prior to the SS4s and the SS1s that look like this based off of the infamous Air Jordan 1 highs, of course. I love this design, it looks really good. I'm just not a personal fan of the green colorway, so I didn't purchase it myself. It's also very expensive, I guess because of the silhouette of the Air Jordan 1s. The SS2s look like this, and they were based off of the Air Max 90s. Love the colorway, shout out to Drew Berry. If you ever see this video, I love the colorway on this. It was a great job that you did. The SS3s are pretty unique in that there were 180 Soul Savvy members that came together to have an input of uh, the design of the final shoe. And it's based off the uh, Great Wave off Kanagawa. And the whole shoe is based off this piece here and even the box was designed with that in mind so i think that's pretty cool and it looks like this so pretty awesome shoe there which now leads into the ss4s and this is let me like go through some of the information first and then i'll show you the actual shoe and go into kind of like my first impressions and mini review of the sneaker so this is the box here custom box says the future is near at the top soul savvy logo on the box there um nothing on the side it says ss4s and then this one says conceived on numerous zoom calls during the covid19 lockdown beaverton oregon to vancouver british columbia which is pretty cool. Sneaker also comes with this card here and some information on the back. The cool thing about this is that there's actually also an NFT for the sneaker as well. I'm not really into like the crypto stuff, so I, you know, I don't know the significance behind that, but it sounds like it's a whole nother thing, but one, I wanted to mention that in the video as well, in case you are interested. They also gave a pair of Soul Savvy branded socks here, and it says members only on the side. I also got this Soul Savvy branded tote bag as well, which is pretty awesome. And an, another pair of socks from Strideline, which I think is a company that Soul Savvy um, partners with all the time throughout the year if you are a member. The colorway of the shoe is a light bone, black, moss, and sun glow, I think is what it was. And it retailed for $300 USD. For us Canadians, if you go over to the Soul Savvy membership store, it costs $408 Canadian as of recording this today in 2023. And these actually released back in April of 2022, so it's been a little while. 
I just got my hands on these because I actually won a contest from Soul Savvy and received these back in like December. So I got them a little bit later after production and finally have them in hand and I'm super excited about it. Let's talk a little bit about who created the shoe and what inspired them to create it what it is today. So the one of the co-founders of Soul Savvy and a VP at Soul Savvy teamed up with Jimo Wong, who is currently working at Cactus Jack and Jordan Brand. And then also Justin Taylor, who has designed Jordan Brand sneakers for athletes such as Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and Carmelo Anthony. And they created this SS4 that you see today. They spent over a year and designed this entirely over Zoom. As mentioned on the box here, it was done during the COVID-19 lockdown period during the pandemic. And this was manufactured in a factory in Philadelphia called Garrickson Studios. So all these sneakers were made in the USA. The designers were given free creativity to create this sneaker that would be the greatest grail that is wearable. So something that you would actually wear on an everyday basis and not sitting pretty on your shelf which I thought was pretty awesome. So they ended up creating this SS4 as a mid-cut runner type of sneaker, something that you can wear that it's versatile and would go with any type of style, regardless of what you have in your closet, which I think is really awesome because I can already see a lot of outfits in my closet that I could wear with this sneaker. So let's talk about the materials of this sneaker. There's a lot going on here, which I think is pretty awesome. So let's go through the list right now. There is suede on the front of the toe box, white mesh on top, neoprene spandex, translucent mono mesh, reflective moss heat transfer vinyl, a TPU heel cover and eye stay, and a leather lined insole with the Soul Savvy logo embossed right there. Let's go over some of the features of this sneaker. So you could see the Soul Savvy logo on the bottom of the shoe here and it also gives like really good traction as well which I really like so there's a lot of good grip. This sole actually glows in the dark which is really awesome because who doesn't like glow in the dark things? The tongue has this like tie-dye-ish kind of look and I don't know if that was actually done on purpose or if it was kind of like the ink or coloring or the dye kind of seeping into each other. Uh, let me know if you know the answer to that but I thought that was pretty cool. It's made there's some it's like a rubber type of material on there. This really cool part is that they have these little pockets on the side of the sneaker where you can actually put your shoelace aglets there which I thought was a really nice touch because they were saying in their videos that and in the blog that people wear their sneakers in different ways so they wanted to create that little spot there for people to put the shoelace aglets if they were interested in that. They have this zigzag stitching here which I think is a great accent piece and um, I think this is like reflective, but I'm not really sure. I think that's a really good, cool touch. It makes it look not so plain, which I really like. And also comes with this plastic sole savvy hang tag, similar to what you would see at Nike. It also comes with three shoelace options here, which has that moss greenish mint look that I have on the sneaker now, and then also uh, black and white. I actually really like the moss shoelaces on here. I think it gives it a really good accent color and um, complements all the other parts that are moss on there as well. So I think I will keep these shoelaces on there for now just for a little bit of contrast just because the rest of the shoe is white and black which is really simple. In terms of uh, sizing, I did go true to size. I did ask someone on the Soul Savvy team what they had uh, recommended for me when I was 
reached out to to get a pair and I did go true to size they are a little bit on the narrow side so if you are able to get a half size up then I would go a half size up they only have half sizes for certain sizes and that is from nine and a half to eleven and a half all the rest are just like full size runs so for me I'm typically like a size seven men's and there's no half size for men's seven and I think that if I went up to an eight, it might've been a little bit too big for me. I'm hoping that over time, these will kind of stretch out, especially with the leather. In terms of comfort, these shoes are really comfortable. There's a lot of ankle and heel support, as you can see on the sneaker there. This is similar to, like the support in the shoe is similar to one of like a running sneaker. As you can see there, the outsole is made with a mix of rubber and foam, I believe. So that makes it super comfortable. And there's a lot of a shock absorption in this sneaker. So comfort is 10 out of 10 for me on this shoe. I wore some pretty thick socks when I initially wore these. I wore, they came with a pair of stride line socks, which Soul Savvy partners with all the time. And they're pretty thick, they're really comfortable socks, but when I put these on, they were really tight. So I'm gonna try some thinner socks next time and hopefully that helps with the tightness a little bit and we'll see how it is over time. This is definitely going to be my new go-to everyday sneaker, especially when I'm at work because I'm on my feet all day running around and these will definitely be something that I will just kind of wear and it's easy to match with because that's what the designers wanted. They wanted something that was versatile and something that you could wear on a daily basis, which I think they accomplished in this sneaker here. That was my first impressions and a mini review of the Soul Savvy SS4s. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this design. I think I like it. I like it better in person as well. I saw them online and I wasn't convinced. I have a pair in hand now and they are really awesome. Also forgot to note that they're super light as well. So perfect if you're someone who's on their feet all day at work or running out for errands or doing something for the whole day. I think this will be your go-to sneaker. All right, I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace, bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.